sparks in the sky. It was early evening and Bo was very excited. She was going to her first bonfire night celebration with mom, dad, gran, and her big brother, Leo. Everyone put on their soft woolly hats and thick cozy scarves. As they entered the park, Bo could see the bonfire from high up on her dad's shoulders. It didn't look how she imagined it, though. They'll light it later, when it gets dark, Dad explained. Once they had walked through the gates, Bo could smell the delicious, smoky scent of barbecue in the air. Everyone's tummies were rumbling loudly. Can we get a hot dog, Mom? Please? Bo asked eagerly. Leo took a bite of his hot dog and a large splodge of ketchup dripped down and splattered on his favorite trainers. He looked even grumpier than usual. After they'd finished their hot dogs, it was time for the fairground rides. Everything was so colorful and noisy. Bo couldn't decide what to go on first. Leo wanted to ride the roller coaster, but Bo grabbed his hand and dragged him towards the carousel. Bo grinned and chose the golden horse with the silver saddle and Leo helped her to climb on. Everyone gathered around the bonfire as the guy was placed on top and the fire was lit. Slowly, the fire began to grow, making the wood crackle and spit. Small sparks rose gently into the air and disappeared. Bo could feel the heat from the fire on her cheeks. Mom bought sparklers and told Leo and Bo to put their gloves on. Carefully, Mom lit the sparklers. Bo twirled her hand excitedly, making swirling patterns in the air and writing her name. It was so much fun watching the golden sparkles appear and then disappear. Bo looked at Leo and noticed his sparkler hadn't lit. Once her sparkler was finished, she placed it into the bucket of sand and asked Mom for a new one. She handed it to Leo and asked Mom to light it. Leo twirled his sparkler slowly and Bo thought she almost saw him smile. Finally, it was time to see some fireworks. Bo watched as the Catherine wheel was nailed to a wooden post. Once lit, it twinkled and flickered as it spun faster and faster, becoming a dazzling blur. Everyone waited as the rockets were lit, one at a time. The man made sure to stand well back between lighting each one. The rockets raced into the air and erupted with a bang in a shower of sparks. The best fireworks had been saved for the finale. They shot up into the air, exploding one after the other. Some crackled, some crashed loudly, while others popped. The sparks shot in all directions, painting multicolored patterns on the night sky. Bo looked at Leo. He was staring up at the fireworks and she saw that he was finally smiling. She gently took his hand and they stood together as the last firework dashed into the sky with a whoosh. I love bonfire night, said Bo giddily. Can we do this every day? I'm afraid you'll have to wait until the 5th of November next year, said Leo, chuckling as they walked home. Bo is excited to see her first fireworks. They shot up into the air, exploding one after the other. Join Bo as she enjoys the sights, sounds and smells of bonfire night with her big brother, Leo. A heartwarming tale to celebrate this magical night. This is the end of the story. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe our channel. Bye.